Hello, Akash. Keep going. Hey, Victor. All good. How are you? Good, good. Um, enjoying the summer, <laughs> I think. So. I think most people have marked, um, and uh, I see a lot of people that have marked the calendar as no. Yeah, that's maybe why, uh, yeah, probably we're going to have uh, too many audience today. So let, let's wait a couple of minutes and let's see sure, if sure. someone else joins. Yeah. Actually, I don't have too much to discuss, so probably. Um, let's see, let's see. Is there any event happening today? Uh, let me check. Uh, I don't think so. I don't see any anyone listed on the bands. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Hello, Rich. Hello, Rich. Hello. Maybe this is not, this is going to be a short uh, meeting. So, um, if you have any particular topic that you want to discuss, um, feel free to add into the agenda. Um, no, Victor, I so, didn't. Have, I didn't have anything specific today. Okay, perfect. So, uh, in my case, uh, I was just reading about unikernels. Um, one interesting article about, about um, comparing unikernels with uh, containers. So I, I would like to um, hear your ideas and what do you think about, uh, especially because we have a, a an issue which would be related with this particular uh, technology. Um, so, so I just wanna to bring this this to, to the table. Um, Regarding the bats, um, I think that um, we have uh, listed all of them before. Um, we have the Open Source Summit in, in Spain, um, uh, DTW and NWC Americas, um, KCD Texas, UK, Open Compute. I think that we have others who are not listed here. Um, so which are the, I think it's the LFN uh, Developer Forum. Uh, developer and Testing Forum. Um, I think that's the name. Um, so which if I remember correctly, it's going to be in somewhere in Europe, uh, I guess in Portugal. And uh, there is another nasty event. So in in San Jose, um, I will I will try to collect all the all the information here in case that you are interested to participate. Um, so that that's pretty much 
about events. So if you have anyone uh, in your radar that you want to um, include in this particular list, uh, feel free to, to add it. So PRs, I guess, don't have anyone open. Um, uh, maybe that's something good. <laughs> um, any issues, we have several. And we have some proposals for best practices. Um, for for my case, um, one of the one of the that I consider that is pretty close to or has 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 a lot of documentation, uh, discussion, and information is uh, is this one. This, this proposal, I guess, has been discussed. Um, if you're not familiar with this one, uh, the, the main idea is to, or, or the proposal is to suggest to have one single process category, process type, uh, whatever that you want to call it, per container. Um, so, so, so the discussion is, um, especially Gregory, one of the things that he mentioned against this particular best practices, uh, some performance um, impact. So if you, if you are not using, if you if you use this particular best practice, uh, your performance can be impacted. So I try to collect all the information early with this. Uh, so in some of the cases, they suggest to use that process manager if you need to run multiple things in a single container, uh, and that's because uh, you can have a side pump uh, uh, effect, especially to, to, to manage properly the, the, the signals in the container. So basically that's uh, where the discussion has been um, happening. Um, also, Ian has been both a uh, few comments here. Uh, so that's why I, I like to bring this particular topic about unikernels. So I was reading this article about unikernels pros and cons and comparing, um, especially con with containers. Uh, so, so well, it, definitely you are familiar with the containers. Like, uh, and one of the, the greatest benefits is like uh, you are sharing the, con the kernel. So, so the with a first understanding, unikernels um, are designed to have their own um, method application. Uh, you are minimizing uh, the the kernel uses, in, like you are creating like a small virtual machine if you want to convert. Like obviously, that's nothing to relate. It. So the major advantage is like you have a good decent size because the only system calls and information that you are using that um, unikernel is, is restricted. But uh, in this in this table summarize a little bit that is not designed to run multiple process. So I don't know if I can include this particular topic um, into the, this practice, probably um, maybe it's, it's, it's a little bit related, but uh, maybe we have to change uh, the title to expand it to consider uh, unikernels or not only in containers. So yeah, obviously that's, that's something I was reading during the weekend. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that could be a good idea or? Um... Victor, have you have you read like anybody kind of using the unikernel like architecture for CNFs? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, at this point I haven't I haven't seen anyone like Taking the the right way to explore that that direction. That's a good point. I mean, I'm not aware 
we're doing anything in F5 uh, with uni kernels, but I can I, I want to circle back with my with our dev team to to see. Uh, but it's I, I yeah I need to do more research on it. Yeah, and that's a great a great point because um, yeah probably um, the way to create like, these uni kernels are very um, very restricted. Probably there are not too many libraries like I know that we have uh, some tools uh, they were mentioning a couple of uh, like frameworks to create like a like yeah unique mirage or all of these and probably those are good for certain type of applications but probably that's right like a, made for TNS are not very mature enough or no one has been experimented with these ones and the other thing is like uh, I'm not sure it in terms like um, orchestrator. Uh, I, I yeah, as far as I remember, I'm not sure if you have to do something in your Kubernetes, for example, to support unique kernels. It's not like a smooth transition, I guess. But yeah, good point, Rich. Uh, I will I will try to look for uh, anything in, in, in the web. Maybe, um, hopefully, I, I can find something. Yeah, I'll look around as well. I'll ask around and see if I can find anything. See if anybody who's doing kind of CNFs or have done VNFs in the past are utilizing any kind of unique kernel architecture. Thank you. Um, okay, well, that's pretty much about the issues that we have. Uh, I know that we have several. Uh, um, I don't know if we would like to discuss one in particular, or like do you have, um, or do you want to propose any, any new um, in these ones? Um, I was I was um, I was checking in the nephew um, Slack channel. Uh, well, they are using KPD, um, so these do uh, like a project uh, for for managing um, packages and everything. And that's pretty much what nephew uh, uses in, in their. Uh, workload. So, also the other thing, uh, I mean, if you're not familiar with what is a KPT package, it's basically it's a bundle of uh, several Kubernetes resources. Um, so, probably uh, one of the questions that um, in the channel that they were asking was about how to manage the dependencies about those packages. So, again, I guess uh, I don't know if we have to create like a best practice for, for that. Um, it is something that they can still not identify like a dependencies and how to connect all the dependencies. So, and, and also given that Nephew is going to use uh, that technology, so probably this is still relying the same. Like, a, I mean, I can provide a few examples of Nephew. Like um, mm. so the CDs are are the the packages that that we have in in Afio. Um, so as you can see, uh, they have some some regular Kubernetes resources. Like just put it in a single. Uh, folder with a uh, this uh, this metadata file where you can apply several things. So eventually, uh, the idea is probably have the CNF probably finding 
in, in here, like not the full CNF, but also the operators and have it some definitions. So eventually, I guess we have to define best practices for for these kind of uh, packages. So some of the some of these packages are related with the um, installation of uh, some of the nephew dependencies, but there are others which are more like a, a CNS. So um, maybe it's not something that we have to address right now, but eventually we can start consider like um, expand the the, the, the the scope of, of uh, the working group and maybe consider this technology and, and put in more um, not agnostic uh, activities or things like that. Well, that's another possibility um, regarding uh, possible possible proposals for best practices. So if we don't have any other thing to discuss, um, I know that Ilico joins with that, uh, you know, um, Luke, do you have any any particular topic that you want to discuss? Um, or maybe we can finalize. Hi, meeting. everyone. Uh, no, I just uh, joined into Lurk and uh, listen where everything is. OK. By the way, uh, I was talking before about, uh, well, uh, if you remember, like we have um, this, uh, this issue we have been <laughs> For a while, discussing um, the the alternative to propose a best practice for having a single uh, process uh, category or type for for container. I don't know if you remember what this particular issue. Um, and 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 I was bringing the the option to to bring to the table unikernels, and Rich was making a good point. Uh, if you have Sure, anyone using unikernels for for CNF? I don't know if you, maybe you you are aware of that or not a lot, um, but I will try to look into it. Yeah, it would be nice if, if we find find this this use case. Uh, I know unikernels has a lot of benefits and, and improvements in terms of uh, like speed and and size. Mm -hmm. So, but if you, you you can have someone, it should be nice to bring it as a as a as a additional information in this this issue. Yeah, that makes sense. I remember that um, I don't know when it was a year ago or something that it was a a hotter topic. I haven't really heard anyone talking about unikernels lately, but. Um, I'll, again, I'll try to look into it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and if, if no one is uh, using any kernel for, for CNF, that's fine. Also, uh, maybe uh, th th there is something that, uh, there is there is some reasoning behind the not use <laughs> that technology. Um, <laughs> yeah, could be. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty much. Um, I was just also mentioning about uh, two events that, for some reason, we haven't put uh, the dates on those events, which are the NF uh, Developer Enthusiasm Forum, which I guess is going to be hybrid, um, and the other the other one, which has not defined the specific dates, are the NFU. So we are going to have like a mini summit in the in Sunnyvale, um, ending of August or starting in September. That's the, the they they have three particular dates, but they haven't defined uh, exactly when, when it's going to happen. 
and that's pretty much that I have. So, well, thanks anyone for attending and uh, we will see you uh, next week. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye.